Now, just as a recap, the last time we saw the heir, they definitely weren't very kind to me. In fact, they killed me. They killed me so badly, I became a ghost, and I remained a ghost. So I don't think our reunion's gonna go that well. Especially since it's probably gonna involve combat, seeing as we're using the golden sword A route today. But we are a little bit stronger now than the last time we saw him. Because I picked up some additional items and all that. But honestly, like, I haven't fought in so long, I barely remember how to fight. Yeah, shield. Dash. Uh, we'll figure it out, right? We'll figure it out. Freaking... I don't know what the aura gem does. I still don't know. Did this one give defense? Sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're still here. Where's the sword? What is the deal with the sword anyway? It's like some ancient artifact that's really important. Important enough to be the... Um, to be in the main screen when you first open Tunic. Wait, so how do I even like... How do I pick between the two? Do I just start... Hitting him? Take my rightful place. You don't actually attack me until I do something to you, though. Oh, God! Oh! Whoa! <gasps> oh my God, okay. So this is probably teaching some story about how violence is not the answer. If we share our wisdom, then everyone will be happier. I'm guessing. Oh! Oh! I think somebody mentioned that the first time we got defeated by him. I wasn't supposed to die that quickly. I didn't get to see any of his movesets because... I came into the realm with less than full health, and then I just died when he picked up the sword immediately. <laughs> Which is a bit of a shame, but I guess we get to see it now. Oh man. Dash is putting in some real work though. Woo! <laughs> it's been so long, I don't remember how to fight. Oh! Don't just throw the sword like that. Oh! Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. Alright. Uh, let's go here. I don't think this one will be too hard though, because the area is pretty big. And the guy's pretty small. When we have a big enemy, that's when I'm really worried. This one, we gotta learn the movesets and then just dodge better. Anything I can use to my advantage? Hourglass might be good. Oh, hey, I never... Hey, this can be what I use to celebrate for solving the puzzles, right? I completely forgot about this. Let's do it right now. Hey! Yeah, there you go. 500 coins doing absolutely nothing because we don't really need it. <laughs> Mmm, I should be using these. But no, let's keep it. Magic dagger? Hourglass? Sure? Could try it. Oh yeah. <laughs> the 20 coins really matter to me. Urgh! Dodging is not an issue, but I gotta get back in. <gasps> oh! So we have to, like, dodge across that one. Yo, I'm already, like... This range is kind of insane. Ah, but the, the hourglass isn't that great. 
It lets me see everything a little bit slower, so I have more time to react, but I think that's it. Oh man. It really has been too long, I barely know how to fight. Ah! Oh. Can I get mana back anywhere here? <gasps> oh no. Okay. But we made it past halfway already on the second attempt. Not too bad. Here we go! How do you dodge that one? Like that- there's actually so many things coming from every direction. Hey, I should be using the ice dagger grapple technique I learned from the secret treasure here, huh? Because otherwise, we're never gonna use it in battle. I wish it was a little bit more zoomed in so I could see more of what you're doing. Oh god! Oh! <gasps> that shouldn't have hit me. Why did I let that hit me? Oh! It's actually using the same techniques as me, isn't it? The teleporting. The problem is that your sword is way bigger than mine. We've got it. Just calm down, okay? We got it. Even though we haven't done the combat in a while, I haven't lost all the skills. Oh! Okay! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay! <gasps> oh! Alright. I'm gonna guess that having the mask probably isn't gonna help here. <laughs> I'm just tanking it. Three. Three waves. Oh! <gasps> Jeez! It's okay, it doesn't matter. I don't even have any health potions anyway. Okay. <laughs> no, we still got to the end of that pretty... Yeah, we were doing pretty okay there. We just gotta... Keep going. Does that mean that you're being infected? Oh man. The delay on that last attack messes me over. Oh! Two. Three. One. Two. Holy God. One. That's different. Oh God. Oh, four. 
We're really close. We're getting closer. Here we go. hurt myself. Oh my god. Are you infected? You've got that purple fog stuff. But it doesn't matter because I've killed you. The power to defy death. Do you have it? Is that what take your rightful place means? Now I'm the one that's trapped? Oh my god. But why? Okay, that was clearly a bad ending, right? Hey, that's some of the treasures we have. The TV, the s'mores. Mmm, yeah, by the end here, I feel like we still have a lot of questions that I don't really have answers to. We've been focusing on the puzzles for a while, but yeah, like, the whole story about how the foxes gained the power to defy death, and then we found a whole bunch of fox souls 
potentially fox souls that were trapped and we freed them. But what about the foxes that were being used as part of the purple pillars, the purple power? The energy source seems to be foxes itself. What on earth is going on here? Okay, let's try sharing our wisdom, see if we can learn more. Game over. Retry. Missing zero pages. Return to seek another path. Yes. Absolutely. I came to the rune atoll because the shrine was closer. If we didn't have the pages, then I think probably interacting with a guy will immediately start the fight, like it did the first time. But this time, things should be different. It's got four fingers. Oh, this is different. Don't attack me yet. Let me show you what I learned. I found all the treasures. All the fairies. Oh! <gasps> Oh! The first few pages had a lot of lore too. We couldn't read it, but it mentioned how everything started. Ooh. Also, oh, normally you're not that big. <gasps> it's still bigger than me. Am I a baby? That's it? Oh, but they're watching TV together this time. Oh. Okay, I'm so glad we did this then. Oh. Do we know each other or Oh, we're wearing the exact same thing. What I saved? Actually, is it like a girl fox? I kind of get the impression it is. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. So instead of just having a person having to be locked up, we freed them and now we're living happily ever after. Which is, you know, clearly the, the happier ending here. But in terms of how things happened, of course it's not very clear still. And what's interesting is that by the end here, what we did was just show the air, the pages we collected, and all the things we learned. It doesn't actually change anything in terms of Oh, like, am I, am I getting stronger or am I obtaining some new item that has some fantastical powers? No, it's really just knowledge at the end of the day. Which, did the heir know about the things in the book? Maybe not. She was crying as she read it. Was it that emotional? I can't read the text, so I can't tell. But she didn't turn purple or anything. None of that corrupted, weird purple stuff. The manual is kind of meta because it mentions directly that, hey, there's two ways to end this. You can either just cut down the air or share this book with them. I would have to imagine she had been waiting for a very long time for someone to bother doing this. It's easy to forget because we did it in succession, but the second ending here is much more time consuming, effort consuming to get than the first one. First one takes a little bit more skill because you got to fight, but the second one involves all sorts of puzzles and all that. And up until now, probably not many people, I would say zero. Zero people, up until Little Foxy came along, actually bothered doing all this stuff to get her out.
not game over but the end. Hmm. Okay. This is normally where I'd end off and just be like goodbye and all that, but the manual? A few people did bring up that it's possible for me to read through a translated version of it, and I would like to because I want to know more about the lore. It's all, up until this point, it's still been very cryptic, even after seeing the end here. We know we did a good thing, but what was all this really about? I think I want to know more, so let's do that. Tunic, instruction booklet. Secret legend, but cut in half. Oh, that must have been so annoying to decode, oh my god. Yeah, I never really got a chance to talk about it, but um, when you open the game, the title of the window is Secret Legend, it's not Tunic. I was wondering about that, and I guess now we know. Maybe that's this game's official subtitle, Tunic, Secret Legend. The first page probably has the most English. Actually, I kind of wonder if this page is localized in the non-English versions of the game. Maybe not? I would assume not, because it's like an actual page. Shout out to these cool people here who made this manual possible. They even did some really nice typesetting here too. That's awesome. I still don't know if we have a scar on our face or not. <laughs> or is this like um like the cool version of myself that I think of myself as being in my mind? But in reality, I'm actually not that cool. <laughs> the one riddle? Table of contents. The story, data management, beginning or adventure. A lot of these we know already. Cards. Praying. Those ones are new. And then for locations, the far shore. The far shore, where is that? Okay, here we go. Here's the lore. A long, long time ago, there lived a civilization of great power. They built a city, and within that city, they built a palace. They held sacred the secrets of the Holy Cross, and understood the planar nature of reality. They ventured to the far shore and sought power from the spaces between. Wait, far shore, page 41. Can we confirm what the far shore is first? Is it the teleporty place? Oh yeah, the far shore. Okay. Hmm, it's like a world between worlds, I see. As is usual, an alluring old power was discovered. As is usual? <laughs> Does that happen often? Fossils of self, annealed visions of the future, entombed and cast into sarcophagi and buried. A lever in the canonical plane, a store of potential. Perhaps it is the fabled prize, the power to defy death. Wow, there's some really difficult words here. Annealed visions, entombed sarcophagi? Canonical plane, the normal world, I guess? An old power that's alluring. Okay. I'm already lost. <laughs> so this is... What's this supposed to be a representation of then? The alluring old power? Fossils of self. Ah, like, we're a fox and we're finding fossils of other foxes. Sarcophagi, old dead foxes. A terrible power rises. The discovering hero opened the tomb and revealed a terrible truth. A cathedral was built to venerate this new origin of life, and the faithful were granted the grace of holy oblivion. Holy oblivion. Yeah, so this is the terrible power that's rising, the one in the back. Oh. The world is thrown into ruin. The lever overworked. The fulcrum shattered. A hole in truth will thunder open, and all manner of disquiet contradictions will gnaw apart the canonical plane. The thread is snagged onto a squirming coil, with no beginning and no end. Flee to your arcs, old ones, and become your predestined selves. I was expecting things to become a little bit more clearer than this, but uh, getting the impression that maybe, maybe that's not going to be the case. Maybe these um less common words help with the translation, I'm guessing? Because some of these, like, yeah, it feels like the language is quite particular. The lever 
the lever overworked. The lever. A lever in the canonical plane. Well, this is the, the monuments that we've been finding where the um, purple energy foxes have been imprisoned into. We've been making them. So those aren't the old fossils that we found because we've still been making them by the time we were exploring the ziggurat. The world is thrown into ruin. No beginning, no end. Flee! Flee to your arcs, old ones. A prison and a beacon. But one must live outside the shivering ring. The heir seeking an heir to the heir. Oh, that's route A. Me taking the other fox's place. A beacon to bring about a ruin seeker. To either grow strong and replace an ailing heir, or to hold sacred holy cross and ensure their wisdom lives on. Hmm. For whatever reason, it's necessary to always have a fox in that state, that imprisonment state, to ensure the status quo remains. And that's what we saw happen in the... Um, a ending. The air is ailing. Oh, that's news to me. But there's two ways you can do this. You can replace the air, or you can hold sacred holy cross and uh, share the wisdom. Ah, uh, okay, right, 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 right. This is talking about the A and the B. Either replace the air or bring the wisdom and the knowledge. And if we do the latter, we don't have to imprison anybody. Awaiting a worthy successor. Which will you be, Ruin Seeker? Have you arrived here seeking treasure and glory? Or do you seek to uncover deeper truths? Look carefully, for the golden path lies everywhere. You got that right. I don't know how to read it though, canonically, even though I'm a fox. Am I like a immigrant fox or like what's going on here? I should be able to read this, but I can't. Right, the normal world is called a canonical plane. The Shadow Obliet? Oh my gosh, there's some really difficult words here. What does that even mean? A secret dungeon with an opening only in the ceiling, as in certain old castles. Okay, Obliet. So both of these combined together is the Shadow Obliet. The far shore is the um, spirit realm. The canonical plane is the normal place. And this is directly showing the imprisonment area. Yeah, these three... Oh, I never even looked at it that closely, but yeah, these are keys to unlocking each hexagon. Mm-hmm. But then in the spirit realm, that's what it looks like. One is in the forest temple, one is in the stolen to the top of the sky, and the other one sealed at the root of the world. I still find it kind of curious that this is the default state. Like, to begin with, it's already been stolen to the sky. Again, the same battle, fought uncountable times. And so the cycle continues. Ruin seekers, drawn to the beacon, are tested. Those who abandon their quest are forgiven and simply disappear. Oh, so we're a ruin seeker. Like an archaeologist, kind of. The beacon. Those who are strong enough to remember their true hero selves will, through violence, begin the cycle anew. Collecting all the stuff to become golden. When we get defeated by the air, and then we collect all the um, stats again, we become our true hero selves. At which point I can try to defeat the air. Will you be the heir to the air and wait within the shadow oubliette? Before long, a ruin seeker will be drawn to you. Their gifts will recall your past life, and you will grant them the same false hope you were given. Mm. The current heir probably did the same thing that I tried doing to it. They replaced another heir before them, and they've just been doing that the, the entire time. This whole time, just... It's a cycle. Their gifts will recall your past life. Yeah, we die. Whenever we die in the, the canonical plane, we're revived by the heir. Which is actually... That's pretty cruel, because we're raising a Ruin Seeker to succeed us by killing us eventually. But yet, for some reason, it's like we're compelled to bring them back. We want them to succeed. We give them gifts. We accept offerings at the shrine. So that their journey to defeating us, the heir, would be easier. Because, I guess, we have some kind of an obligation to want the cycle to continue. To break the curse, 
A rune seeker must, by some miracle, invoke a relic from beyond this plane. Yes. So, it's a cycle, unless if you figure out that, hey, you can actually solve it in a different way. The air. And becoming the air means that you become bigger and taller like a mystical fox too. As we saw in the B ending, you get reverted once you're not the air. Data management. Continue. Continue most recent file, new game, begin a fresh quest, options, adjust settings, load game, go to save data screen. Options. Adjust settings to customize your play experience. Options mean you can keep playing if the challenge is too much right now. You are allowed. <laughs> Well, I would be allowed if I actually read this before finishing the game. Tunic is actually quite strange, I think, because a lot of games, they commit to either being a combat-based game or a puzzle game, but this tried to be both at the same time, and they were going pretty far into each end, too. The combat's not quite casual, and the puzzles obviously are pretty insane, which I feel like potentially can make people not like this game. Like, if I came into this game looking for a really tight combat experience, yeah, we have it for the first half, and then, like, the second half is all puzzles. Or, if I came here for puzzles, then the first half, I gotta suffer through all this fighting first, which I guess is why they've added some accessibility options that they mention here. We never really looked at it, but you could make it so that you could not lose stamina, or not lose health, or just become invincible and stuff. But obviously, for the puzzles, you can't really do that. So I would say at the end of the day, Tunic is more about the puzzles, and the exploration, and the unknown, more than the, um, the combat. Save data, money, harder quest, unknown, question mark, question mark, question mark. When did we even see these things? In the load file thing? Whose is this? <laughs> harder quest, oh these are pages, right? Pages? Not sure what the star is actually. Load file and resume play. Data removal. Choose delete to remove a file forever. And then these are more controls. So we already got the bulk of the story from the first few pages. And <laughs> I don't know if we really learned that much more. It's still pretty cryptic. Beginning your adventure. A secret legend says that a great treasure lies in this faraway land. Maybe it is the power to divide death. Why do you seek this power, tiny one? Wait, so at the end of the day, who has the power to divide death then? Is it me? Because, yeah, whenever I die, the air brings me back. Am I the one who has that power? What about the other foxes? The other ghosty foxes? They're not alive, but they're still sticking around here. Time to begin your adventure. Here is what you will do. Enter the woods in the East Forest. A hero's grave. A sword lies at the grave. Guard captain, powerful foe, be careful. Old house, you will need a key. Dark tomb, dark, need a light. If you're lost, see page 28. In a far off land, a great treasure was sealed away forever. Some say it has the power to divide death. Hmm. But what's inside is really just the air. The air doing whatever. Why do we need a fox in that position? Because we want the power to divide death? Because for some reason this realm needs it? Ruin Seeker, you! Strange gate to the far shore. Oh, they mentioned it so early, but obviously we never would have been able to read this. This is one of the first pages that we got, right? Important, keep an eye on your stamina points. When you have zero SP, you are in danger. Yes, yes. Everything hurts way more when I'm tired. <laughs> That's actually just readable. Controls, yeah. The one of the few words we actually got the thing to because it was directly from the um, table of contents. It looks like the language might be something to do with phonetics, which out of all the languages I know, I actually really dislike English in terms of like the, um, the way sounds work. Because you can look at the same letters and they can have different sounds. I really, really don't like that. So I probably wouldn't have had a good time trying to translate this. Focus. Focus is crucial. Inventory, gear, move, shield, potion, use item, roll, run, talk. Pretty typical. Are they going to update this image for the PS5 release? I know they announced that it's going to come out in September this year, right? Because right now it's only on Xbox and PC. Button! <laughs> this button has many uses. One is secret, 
but if you read this book, you will learn it. Space? Oh, this is using the PC version of the manual. Because when we look at it when I play, it's using the controllers. So what's the space button then? Oh, praying, right? Yeah, rolling and praying. Talk! Talk to signs, doors, and more. <laughs> Talk to a sign. You cannot be hit at the start of the roll. Pray. Forbidden technique. Offer reverence to the tombs of those who came before. Tombs. Oh, all those monuments are tombs. But we saw in the ziggurat, they were making them though. That's why I didn't think they were fossils or tombs. But they are. Press and hold the button to run. It is faster than rolling over and over. Shift button. This button has one main use. Oh, okay, so earlier it was saying space button. Yeah, space button. Shift button. This button has one main use, but it is a powerful one. Use it all the time, Ruin Seeker. Focus. Locking on. Face your adversaries. Use this to focus on a nearby foe. Focus and evade to roll and dodge while still staying ready to strike. Focus and block to raise your shield and face the foe. Lock. Understanding stamina points. Stamina points represent your poise and strength to perform certain actions. When you evade or perform other moves, your stamina points go down. When at 0 SP, you can still do it many actions, but at a disadvantage. Yeah, these things we inherently know just from playing the game, which really goes to show that iconography, pictures, is really what's important in instruction manuals. That's why Lego sets, IKEA, they never have words. Moment of safety. At the start of evasion, you have invulnerability, briefly. So evade at just the right moment. Check for dust. You can always attack even without stamina. Stability. Take enough hits and you'll flinch. If a hit is really big, you can even be knocked over. Oh. The hidden stability gauge is 25% of your total HP. That might be related to the, or I guess it actually just is, the white bar underneath people's health. With vigor. Use Vigor to roll. You are safe for a tiny moment. Found the shield? Block. Vigor fills more slowly. Hits will use up Vigor. Oh, stamina is called Vigor? Wow, okay. No Vigor. Oh no, you ran out of Vigor. You can only hop and are highly vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Treasures and tools, magic items. Some items use the power of your soul. I excuse me? Okay, my soul. Magic points refill when you rest, but there is a finite number of souls in the world. <gasps> what? Note, Holy Cross is more than a mere item. Is that supposed to be the representation of the Holy Cross? Wait, hold on. Mana is my soul? Okay? Sword. Is this a hero's blade or a forgery? Stick. Just a stick. Shield. Left by a rudling. Use to deflect blows. Bomb. Unstable powder made from the fairy of the West Garden. What? Not made by the fairy. Made from the fairy? Excuse me? <gasps> Wait, they're dropping a lot of information on this page very casually here. What is going on? Oh my god. This bomb, made from the slorm. What? The pudding that goes boom. Oh my god. What? <gasps> the slorm is the one that spins at us, right? The, the one that we see in the sewers and stuff. Did we somehow harness the way they explode to make this bomb? Or is it just made from a slorm? Oh my god. The gua bomb. <laughs> fire, fire everywhere and ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I wonder what the text looked like for that one. Keys. You will need a key to open one of the rare old doors. The key disappears. Mm-hmm, okay. The way the key looks is so... it's so swirly. Fruits. Eat fruits to restore HP or MP. They are gone forever, so snack sparingly. You know, by the end, I barely even use stuff like peppers and ivies. Oh my goodness. Hot pepper and ivy. One is spicy, one is minty. Gives a boost to attack or SP. Effigy. Betray. <laughs> Betray for coins. Each betrayal is sweeter than the last. Oh, okay. Have I been betraying people the whole time? 
I'm sorry. Lore. The all of the beloved hero, foes will be tricked. Golden coin. Special treasure that allows a wish. Use that well to give to Wish Eater. Wish Eater? What? Magic Potion. Lifeblood of the hero. Quaff to restore your will to go on. Mysteriously refills whenever you touch a checkpoint. Because the air is giving it to me, maybe? Find some shards and you will get a free flask. Offer up ash. Oh! <gasps> what? Offer up ash to make your magic potions more potent. It is said the ash of heroes fortifies the blood. Oh my god. Hold on. So every time we've been doing this thing... Oh, I never really looked at that, but the pink stuff... It's like a dead corpse? Ground into ashes? Wait, how do we actually get these powers, though? We offer it to the shrine and then we, like, snort it or something? Oh my god. It's actually just dead people. Okay, great. Cards are ways to be inspired to unusual greatness. Okay, wow, that's, uh... I didn't expect this page to drop so many knowledge bombs here, but I'm a little bit shook right now. <laughs> if you seek to increase your power, risk an offering to the air. Risk? As a shore bleeds one of falsehoods and memories, the air hungers for reminders of the corporeal world. Offer these mementos and share a delusion of power. Delusion. It's not real. He can take it away at any time. <gasps> Warning. Pilgrims to the shore are stripped of this false power. Mm. Whenever we're in the spirit realm, all of our... Or in the beginning, anyway. In the beginning, we used to have gray bars, the health bars and the mana bars. The price goes up each time, okay. So this is... We're offering the air something to remind them of the canonical plane. Okay. Oh no, what happens if you die? Bad news, the Ruin Seeker has run out of health points. But wait, a strange being has given us another chance. Such a debt is a dangerous thing to have. No kidding. What was but is now not. The ghostly form of an echo of self. Touch it to break its connection to the cycle and let it drift back into the shore. Be kind, as this is your fate as well. Cards can change its nature. You can make it explode harder. I'm suddenly thinking about how in the cathedral we saw a whole bunch of like other foxes. Other Ruin Seekers. But those ones aren't even dead, though. Like, seeing the, the red echoes, okay, sure, those are dead foxes, but the ones in the cathedral are just, like, brainwashed foxes. You can do it, Garden Knight. Future cycles look back with faith, knowing the course, persevere, and be sure to boost your power despite the cost. Wow. I can't look at that powder thing the same way anymore. My god, what is that red line supposed to be? Like a DNA thing? I always thought it was just like herbs on a... I don't know, a piece of paper. Cards! Cards can grant powerful inspiration. Change them often depending on the challenge you face. <laughs> I didn't even know what half of them meant though. Open the inventory. Choose a slot icon. Choose a card to memorize. Memorize? Wow, the wording... The wording is very interesting here. Memorizing a card, okay. Cyan Peril Ring. Raises defense when you are in peril. Inverted Ash. Ash? Ash of Heroes? Okay. Quaffed Potions restore MP instead of HP. We figured. Lucky Cup. Foes leave hearts to heal you a bit. Rare. 15%. Muffling Bell. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Foes notice you less. Okay, so we were right about this one. There are more cards. What do they all do? It's a secret. Wells and Coins. Granting wishes requires payment, and further inspiration requires wishes. Those who wish enough can be formidable indeed, but to whom are you giving payment? Did you say the wish eater earlier? Choose wisely, Ruin Seeker. Help! Hints and clues. Stomped? Here are some clues for you. Try to help your friends if you can. I entered the temple, but it was empty. What now? Here is where a Ruin Seeker would place three keys. Where are the keys? You can't find any without prayer. Try learning how to pray on page 24. How do I get to the Ruined Atoll? Traverse the far shore with that and prayer. 
Ah, uh, because in the beginning without teleport, we couldn't walk to the ruined atoll. We had to figure out the praying thing. The crab to indicate that it's the ruined atoll. What is the secret of the golden path? Look to the stars and to page 49. The checkpoint says dead? It must see to the core. Look for a nearby monument thingy. It must see to the core. What does that mean? Like someone is trying to see something but they can't see it? Old burying ground is too hard, why? It is a place of despair, only ghosts may enter. I'm stuck! Yeah, okay. Man, just just looking at how how the hell do these four symbols translate to I'm stuck? That's way beyond me. There's some circling here talking okay, so this this symbol, they broke it down into like the arrow here and the top thingy. Yeah, okay, anyway, we're not here to solve the language today. <laughs> What's up with a door in the mountains? All the clues you seek are here in these pages. How do I defeat the air? Gather the relics from the hero's grave. How do I open these doors? Seek the holy cross. Can I go back to how things were? Perhaps there is a way. Maybe this is all a dream. Oh. Is it not a simple shift between nighttime and daytime? That seems to be what it's implying here. A dream, huh? Hmm. Yeah, there's actually three different states of the world. The morning, the nighttime, and the the far shore. So the nighttime, you're telling me it's huh, could be something else. What's behind the waterfall? Do you know of the fairies? Turn to page 47 and look carefully. Fairies, souls. What's the next piece of the puzzle? Every page has a secret, even this one. How do I truly escape? Share your wisdom and break the cycle. Is this supposed to be the fox on the very last page, page 55? I found a treasure, can I see them all? Yes, there is a place. The trophy room. Even the trophy room is hidden. Okay, what's this? The secret, the secret of prayer. Okay. Oh, that, oh, this page is annoying. Actually, can I see it side by side? Is that possible? Maybe not. Like this? Ah, it's not showing the right two pages though. <laughs> okay, whatever then. Let's just, um, let's just focus on reading it. Do you know the secret way? Go to the door in the mountains and check behind it. To find the quarry. Yeah. Monastery. Is that what that was? A monastery? Fortress. The Eastern Fortress. Forest. Yeah, the sneaky one. That's how we get back when we were still a ghost. Garden. Library. Swamp. It almost sounds like getting defeated by the air the first time is completely intended. It's like part of the cycle. Okay, the secret of prayer. To pray, be still for a moment and rest. Rune Seeker, press and hold spacebar or X for a short time. No holy being will ever hear you, but venerate those who give of their core and awaken the tools of a lost age. We are a alive fox praying to a tomb, inside which we know there are other older foxes, fossilized foxes. But yet, new ones are still being made. Survival tips. Keep an eye on your bars. Your will to go on, improve potions with ash to gain more HP per sip. If the vigor is flashing, you're out of breath. Remember, you take extra damage. You can use an IV in that case. The power of your soul, the mana. Using magic items consumes it. Some foes leave their souls. Oh, that's so ominous sounding. And then for some reason, whenever you go to the shrine, your soul comes back. Tired all the time? You can run. Mm-hmm. Your stamina points refill even when running, so you can enter fights strongly. Rolling everywhere will exhaust you. Oh, definitely guilty of that. Try new cards. Mm-hmm. 
Use your items, don't hoard them. Today is a rainy day, so don't hoard valuable tools. Rewards await those who use liberally. I wonder if you can get plus ones for stuff like the, um, the berries and stuff. That would have been cool, but I never used those. Use special techniques. Roll and sword at the same time to perform a fast stab. Oh, I didn't know that. Use the stamina. Check the map. Someone has made maps for you. There are secrets hidden in them, so look carefully. The shopkeeper? Mm-hmm. What? Oh, so the one symbol? I remember this only had one symbol, right? The one symbol means fairy? Wow. Because like, different components of the symbol stand for different sounds, I guess. Fairy fairies, okay. It just says fairy fairies? Really? To the west of the Great Palace are the gardens. Many paths are broken, but there is a way. Magic dagger, a magic item made from a fairy. Made from a fairy, again! Use it to freeze foes with ice. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, okay, because the fairies know how to freeze people, so we sort of like harvested them for that power. By the palace, I'm guessing you mean the seal temple? Yeah. Oh, there's so much stuff on this map. Yeah, I found out later on, but that one place with the, um, the bombable thing, I guess the hint here is that there's no there's no black line across. Whereas everywhere else it seems normal. That's a really, really small hint though. Ringing the west bell. Can you see the bell but not reach it? Try going to the west garden via the dark tomb. Under the well, flooded layer beneath the surface, filled with monsters. Walking in water will slow you, but also some foes. Watch out for what lies below. Slorms! Oh god, now we know bombs come from slorms, the dynamites. Tip, use a shield. Watch your vigor. Beneath the earth. Beneath the earth are many scary places. Be sure to take a lantern. Hey, what about that prison that was here before? I don't even... Oh, below the fortress is a cave. Yeah, there were cells and then... That's around the eastern fortress is when we first started finding out about the... Um, the monument pillars. One key to the Shadow Oubliette is guarded by the last great machine of war. The, the locking mechanism is called the Shadow Oubliette? When the siege was done, this beast was coaxed into this lonely purpose. War? You were a war machine. What war? The last machine of war, Siege Engine. Custodians. Spyrite, Sapphirac. To the Dark Cave. Those who live in the fortress do not know the secrets of prayer. Use your knowledge wisely, and who knows what you will find. So if they prayed, it might have worked as well, but they look so religious though. They look like a religious culty member, so how can they not know how to pray? That's strange. Are they foxes though? Kinda? They kinda look like one, but uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, this goes to the far shore. This goes to the hero's grave. I see. The ruined atoll. Under the library is the skeleton of a great abbey that served as its annex. Once, some others made this their home and built on the ruins. Only flora and fauna live here now, but the frogs may be on patrol. The lickety frogs. Summoning the library path means venerating to the four corners, so take a knee. Pray. Yeah, take a knee, meaning pray. That's one of those things in English that are not, they don't translate very well. The language itself being based on English, I think that's just something we have to accept, because it's very difficult for them to have different different um, symbol languages based on what language you're playing the game in. So that part I feel like is unavoidable. Yeah, northwest, northeast, southwest, southeast. We were right. And we had to have been... Oh! Oh, you can also stack it- wait, 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 are they just putting it like that or is that actually like a vertical symbol? That's pretty cool. Huh. Frog's Domain. Magic Orb. Odd Door. 
rotate it around the forbidden axis and partially summon in this quiet being. What? <gasps> Is that what's happening? We're actually... We're... We're using somebody's tentacles to grab onto things? Ooh, ooh, here we go. Many have sought the secrets of this world, drawn by the great power and other secret legends. The librarian has learned much, including powerful sorcery. He makes his home high above the clouds, waiting for foolish ruin seekers to bring him more pages. Although powerful, his tragedy is his belief that the Holy Cross resides in the cathedral. He will never visit the far shore. He never figured it out. Hmm. So the library, he was he was researching the stuff. He wasn't the maker of it. All the stuff in there is just stuff that he was working on. And he never figured out the Holy Cross. Unlike me. Boss of the scavengers will stop at nothing to obtain the blue key. She has long known that it lies in the rooted ziggurat, but has only now entered its steps. It costs many lives, but any price would be acceptable. Why? What's so good about the key, my god? Monastery Once a place of worship for the gods thought to live beneath the earth, it was abandoned when the cathedral's influence reached its peak. Oh! Religious fights in this world? Between the monastery and the cathedral? There can only be one. Cavity The purpley stuff. Exposed fossil that has dented a patch of local truth out of the canonical plane. What? Being near it does not hurt, but it does instill a terrible feeling of hopelessness. Oh, hopelessness, to the point that my health is affected. Exposed fossil. So these are related to the fox souls as well then. Dented a patch of local truth. The rooted ziggurat. A house for the strange gods, exposed by erosion and greed. Oh, because people try to mine in the quarry, and if they hadn't, then it wouldn't have been exposed. Hmm. Gun! Powerful, but it uses a lot of magic. Savvy explorers have been known to quest for this soon after their arrival. <laughs> Are you making fun of me? You're making fun of me? I got it so late. Lower Miasma. The bottom of the quarry will sap your will to go on, unless precautions are taken. Were the rumors that the arrow is poison misunderstood because of this miasma? Miasma. Oh, so that is that different from the cavity? I don't think so, right? It's the same stuff, but even bigger. And then the cathedral map. Flamers, equipped in various ways. <laughs> that said nothing. The flesh may be stripped away, but the will to fight is strong. Friend. A disquiet fragment who lives in a skull and wants to taste everything. Disquiet. We've seen that word so many times here. Oh, is that the same thing that's in the magic orb? Wait. The friend lives in the skull, so the skull is not part of the thing. Yeah, it's just the purple part then. Or maybe even the wings? Oh. Lost Echo, an echo of self from a past Ruin Seeker whose owner gave up. Watch and listen closely and release it from its agony. Yeah, they've given up. They've given up. They don't want to do it anymore. RIP Around the cathedral is a wasteland of graves. Those who have remained to bury after the final battle are laid here, but many are not at rest. Final battle. It's all about trying to defeat the air here. Okay, here we go, the cathedral. This page should be interesting. The seat of power for the first air. Oh, first air. Hero. Hero's laurels. Number one, the sound of chanting in the air. Oh, there's some homonym troubles with the symbols, I guess. Air, as in the air to the air. And air as an oxygen. In this case, it should be oxygen air? I don't know, can the air chant? Maybe. One. A large chamber, two. Two is just inside. A large chamber filled with the smell of incense. Okay. Three. A shaft descends. Ooh, is that a is that a typo or is that actually just the way it is? Descends into blackness, activated by ten. Yeah, activated by the pillar. 
4. Doorway to Eastern Rooms 4A A group of lost friends covet the elixir. What? <laughs> but 4A is not even here. 4B The Baptismal Font What? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, sure. A group. Oh, a group of lost friends, as in the other foxes, right? I think so. Mmm. The baptismal font. Five. Upper balcony offers a view of the main hall. Six. In the library, there is a double secret. Oh, it says it's in the library. The two secret entrances. Okay. Seven. A rough hewn passage. Mm hmm. Eight. A moonlight bridge blocks access to a treasure. So we have to come back during daytime? All right. Nine. The chalice or vessel. Oh. The fox Jesus. The vessel. The chalice. Ten. Device to power the lift. Three. Eleven. Lift shaft. Oh, okay. It's not anything special. It's just saying there's a shaft here. That's all. 12. Ruin Chamber has checkpoint. Mm hmm. 13. Gauntlet with six challenges. You bet. The Far Shore, the Shadow Oubliette. A key is on. Oh, no mere toy. A key is no mere toy. Hmm. Yeah, there's not so much text on this page. Oh, Seat of the Air. That's where you fought the air. And a stolen device. Because a librarian was stealing things left and right. Ruin Seeker Arrival. Everybody starts here? Okay. Oh my god, where do we come from? Understanding the strange effects of the far shore. Yeah, you can give offerings to the air in the corporeal realm. But then when you get to the far shore, it's all gone. You are a shadow of yourself, and the false gifts of the air have no effect. False gifts? Okay. With Hero Relic, attuned to a true memory of yourself instead of a pale retelling. Attune. That wording kind of reminds me of Hollow Knight. Attune. How does a Ruin Seeker become a hero? Seek and pray. To visit the hero's grave, and then collect the stuff, make yourself golden, claim your heroic past. The Ruin Seeker begins to understand the Holy Cross. Oh yeah, this was definitely a big breakthrough. Only made possible via teleportation? Hidden Secrets. Much is hidden in this world, beyond, bound beyond the power of the Holy Cross. Prove to those who gave of their core that you know of it deeply. Who gave of their core. People who sacrificed themselves. Oh my god, it's still not straightforward, even though we can read this. Open the vaults left to help wise ruin seekers. Free the souls that stayed behind to guide you and receive their gift. So these are fox souls then. Follow the golden path, the monolith in the overworld. We wouldn't have been able to get one of the... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about the secret gathering place, and we wouldn't have been able to get one of the pages without having gathered the souls. So they are helping me. And there was also like a rainbow chest there, right? If I remember right. Clearing the game. Extinguish the beacon's last spark. And become a fresh martyr. The beacon's last spark. The previous heir. Courage that is untempered by kindness risks eating itself forever. Untempered by kindness. You're very brave for taking on the heir. But you're not empathetic enough. Take your rightful place. Or B. Share your wisdom. Wisdom that is untempered by kindness is no wisdom at all. Be free. Oh. Wisdom that is untempered by kindness is no wisdom at all. Wisdom must be kind. Sharing your knowledge so that others can understand as well. The Fairy Spring. Fairy souls are tucked away in all corners of the world, 
They lock themselves in gold boxes, awaiting a clever ruin seeker who knows the power of the Holy Cross. A hidden fairy will always leave a trace of magic behind, nearby. They await a particular song and listen for it eternally. Oh, that's so... that's so poetic but sad. Look around to find a secret spell hidden in the world. Mm, they're waiting... they're waiting for you to call upon them with a the holy cross. Wow. Seeking spell. Tiny false fairies will be drawn along the small fold of local truth the real fairy has created as a nest. It's a very long way to say, hey, this will find you the fairies. Oh, is that what these words meant? Flowers 1, flowers 2, vein, weather vein, house, moss, patrol, caustic light, cube, the golden cube, invisible maze, fountain, maze column. Where did the fairies hide? But you know exactly, this guide knows exactly where the freaking fairies hide. Secret gathering place, but where do they go? Find a special location where all the freed fairies go. It is said they have a final treasure and will only give it up when a certain number of their friends are freed. Mm hmm. The page? I guess so. And then, of course, we got this. Oh, the golden path. The greatest spell. This is insane. Like, honestly, this is. This puzzle is insane. The door in the mountains. Yes, yes. Cards. Oh god, what does that say? Did you retain the letter from us? Immerse it in water for 60 seconds to see a secret message. Oh. Pretty straightforward, all things considered. Especially seeing how page 1 was not at all straightforward. <laughs> Orange Peril Ring raises attack when low health. Cyan Peril Ring raises defense when low health. Inverted Ash, Switch, Anklet. Movement speed is increased slightly. Perfume, stamina recovery is increased. You mean vigor. The bone. Oh, I never even... Wait, I never even found the bone. Hold on. The bone? I've never even seen the bone before. My page looks different. Is that like a hidden secret one? Oh. Doubles invincibility time during dodge rolls. Tincture. Attack increased, defense decreased. Bracer. Reduces stamina loss from blocking. Lucky cup, yep. Muffling bell. Louder echo. Explosion damage and radius are greatly increased. Scavenger's mask. Affords protection from the miasma. Dagger strap. Dagger, magic dagger cast time is reduced. Oh, I probably wouldn't even have noticed that. Yeah, magic echo. Retrieving echo of soul restores some MP. Fire sword. Sword ignites enemies, but HP becomes one. I really thought that was going to be part of some puzzle, but no. Feels like it might have been a good one, though. Aura's gem. Parry timing window is slightly increased to parry. Tap shield. Oh, I never even... Okay. I, th I fought the whole thing. Defeated everybody. Didn't parry. Hardly used my shield. <laughs> it's fine. It all works out. Um... Yeah, the different parts of the one symbol represent different sounds. Yup, yup, yup. Yup, yup. Phonetic characters. Can you solve it too? Uh, the answer is no. No, I cannot. <laughs> For additional support and secrets, find some rare golden statues. Oh, the broken, broken monolith? Number two. Traverse the glow to visit 12 strange beings. Uh, do you mean the, the additional glowy glyph place? 12 strange beings as in alive things? Okay. Number three. Unsing them to the greatest song, the song of the golden path, a scene from within. Unsing to them? And that's it. Last one. Under... Oh! Oh, there's a... There's a code here. Under the moon. Contemplate this prayer. Near an ancient tomb. Plundered for its blade. Lies a special place. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, up, down, left, right. What? Is that supposed to be for something else? 
What is that? But that's the last page. Okay. Whoa. Oh my god. Hey, I was gonna go head to the East Forest to try out the code dimension on the last page there, but there's a... That's new, right? There's a dude here. You're new. And you're showing me that... Oh, that explains why the chest was open before. Remember back in the beginning of the game? We found multiple chests that were just, for some reason, opened. Oh... But we didn't see this when we first started playing. For sure. Is it a new Game Plus thing? Yeah, look, in New Game Plus, I lost my mana bar and I've lost my teleport too, so I gotta walk all the way back to the East Forest myself. Oh, look, again. Again. I guess they're trying to give you a bigger challenge from a gameplay perspective. They're trying to give you a bit of a challenge in the New Game Plus, but also to provide a bit of, um... Because it's supposed to be a cycle, and we're seeing what happened before. Yeah, I already have one. Okay, so let's see here. Actually, if we prayed this early, what will we see? Yeah, we end up here. Uh, the stuff is there. Yeah, it's just that I can't get it because I... I don't have teleport. Okay. So the code. The code that was on the last page. Do we just try right here? Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, up, down, left, right. There's more? But this one doesn't count for anything. Oh. <laughs> just one coin? Thank you very much, I suppose. After the manual, we can also look at the dialogue for all the ghost foxes we ran into, as well as the item text, so let's see here. Hi, are you new here? Where's your home? I don't know, man. Where is my home? Am I like an immigrant? I'm a ruin seeker. Oh, hi. I'm just taking a break. Are you going to the swamp? You're brave. Do you seek the cathedral? Remember that you're nothing but a ghost. Well, that's a lie, because later on, you can get to the cathedral without being a ghost. But nobody knew. Things are tense in there. I think something bad happened. Someone took out the siege engine. Impossible. Hey, yeah, that's kind of what we thought. Alas, alas, alas. Should we have done a fourth key? No, they would have found that too. Oh, yeah, one of the ghosts mentioned the fourth key. But no, there isn't one. Thank goodness. Who would do such a thing? Either a hero or a fool. I don't think you can get into the cathedral without moonlight, but then again, heroes are surprising. Mm. What we've accomplished is something that nobody's done before. So all the foxes that are here, they just don't know that that was possible. Are you guys all ruin seekers as well? Previous ones? A big fight was here a long time ago. Or last week? It's all blurry. Mm, the, the siege engine apparently came from the war, so that could be related. What happened? I feel sad when I look at it. By the ruined atoll? Things are more beautiful when they are ruins. Do you agree? Um... Probably not. Do you want to elaborate? This one is dead. They used to be palace guards, but now they are for flowers. Mm, the garden knights. Fish, fish, fish! I'm fishing for fish! <laughs> that would have been a fun one to decode, huh? I used to visit the gardens, but it's scary now. Hmm... I ran a store once. People usually steal stuff, though. <laughs> Sorry! Oh, that's supposed to be a shop! Oh, this is outside the... Um... Yeah, this is around where the old house is. Okay. I'm so tired. <laughs> Have you found the Holy Cross? Trying out a new look? No. No, I'm not. <laughs> the cathedral scares me, but I've heard there's an incredible treasure. It's called the Hero's Laurels. So big. Are they this big in person? Mmm. The Statue of the Air. Regular foxes? They're still bigger than me, but they're not that big. The air is the only gigantic one. 
Well, well, well. Sorry. <laughs> a pun? On the well? Okay. Ah, that was the one where we saw like three symbols repeating, right? Well, well, well. Are you kidding me? Wow. I'm dancing the dance of the Holy Cross. <laughs> you are a dancer. Wow, the siege engine was not enough. Wow, wow, wow. Sobbing. <laughs> Sobbing. Hi. This way goes to the hero's grave, but there are some weird critters. Oh, the librarian. Here to gloat? Idiot. You did it. You released the air, and now this. Now you must either defeat it and take its place, or find the Holy Cross and share its wisdom. Good luck with that. Hmm, I guess inherently... No, it's not just a simple switch between daytime and nighttime, because we killed this guy, and then we ended up seeing him in this realm, so yeah, it's not... This is a separate place. There is a mouse in my house. What should I do about it? What is this place? Path under the windmill? Wait, I don't remember this place at all. This doesn't look familiar. Oh, wow, okay. Do they sound funny to you? Seems fine to me. Under the windmill? Have you heard the old hymn? Seek the golden path. Sounds kind of silly. Hmm, people trying to help me out here and there? And then there's also the, the text. These are pretty standard. Empty. What is it, talking about the mailbox in the beginning, I guess? This way to town. Ruins of old village. Take key. Found an item. Use key. Take page. East bell tower. The first bell the hero struck. East forest. Ruins of fortress. I'm really curious about the dark tomb one. Path to hero's grave. One of the many ways to the hero's grave. Really? This... wow. This small of text says that entire sentence? Take sword? Guardhouse 2. Oh, it just says guardhouse 2. <laughs> okay. Lower forest. Yeah, that would have been a really good one for translation, but you don't know it. You don't know it until you actually are able to translate it. Yeah, ruins of fortress, guardhouse 1. Guard captain, captain of the guard. <laughs> you found a flask. To ring a bell, you strike a bell. Oh, I never noticed it. Wait. Oh, these two are the same. The bell. A bell? These two symbols mean a bell. Oh, the two and the U? Very similar symbols as well, but not quite the same. This one has an additional diagonal. Oh. Hole in time. The shop. Shopkeepers. Buy stuff. Key to the old house. Take shield. Shield, finally. Risk an offering. To the air. Risk an offering? It's peculiar wording. No souls returned. Danger, no passage. Beneath the well. Flooded layer beneath the surface. You found a light. <gasps> Dark tomb. Who is enshrined here if the hero lies in the shore? Oh! Oh, I never really thought about that. If it's a tomb, then that means that people were here. They, they've been enshrined here. If the hero lies in the shore, Previous Rune Seekers. This way to West Garden. West Furnace, drawing light from deep below. The west edge of a great palace. There's no great palace here anymore. Here lies a hero. Pray to visit their grave. <laughs> Would have been nice to know beforehand, huh? <laughs> you found a light. Garden Knight, sleeping guardian, one of many. West Bell Tower, the second bell the hero struck. To ring a bell, you strike a bell. With three keys, we sealed the air. A key is no mere toy. Seekers of ruin, leave here. Questagon red goes here. Questagon? Questagon green goes here. Dead. The altar has no soul. Mmm. Cause, oh, the energy. The energy source, I guess, is like mana. Soul. And for some reason, the shrine needs soul to work. Okay. The far shore. 
The space that is not here nor there. The space in between. Frog's domain, they venerate a strange relic. Venerate. Comes up pretty often here. Strange device. Librarian. The thieving scholar who seeks the cross but does not understand. They stole all this stuff, but yet I'm the one who figured out the holy cross pattern, not them. Take Questagon? Danger. Wishes made. At the well? Beneath the eastern vault, a secret cave they have forgotten. Interior of the eastern vault. Be careful. Who's saying that to me? Who is wishing me well? Siege engine. The last functioning war machine. Danger, do not open. Use key. Take Questagon. Gate to the far shore. In the ziggurat? Quarry. A great hole in the earth. It's hard to breathe. Cards. A gun? Hey, so why is the gun... When we first pick it up, the colors look a lot more muted, but then after we pick it up, it's all pink and stuff. Is that intended? Boss Scavenger. The queen of those who pick the bones of this land. It's a lady. Cathedral. Here it started. Here it started. Yeah, this is where the Fox Jesus was being held. This is where it started. Light the candle. <laughs> Thanks for the translation. <laughs> hero's grave. Hero's grave. Okay. I see. It looks like that's the majority of the text here then. Wow, that actually took us quite a bit of time to get through, and it's clear, if reading all this text, it's clear that there was a lot of thought put into the language itself. Like I said, I'm not going to be the one to be able to decipher all that, but kudos to people, th the guy who made the game, who made the language, and also to the people who deciphered it, because it really is um, a lot of monumental work. As for the story itself, I gotta say, even after reading all this, it's not entirely clear to me what really really happened there's a lot of different elements going on here maybe some that aren't even mentioned specifically within the manual itself like for example the six heroes were these people also ruin seekers and why are there so many fox ghosts around but the basic form appears to be that these fox people the fox society they try to get some power from the other plane the far shores and then they ended up paying a price for it which is the air gets trapped in that prison area. And that began some sort of a cycle that led to more and more foxes being trapped in there. And finally, we were able to break free, but only after a lot of effort and time. Yeah, in essence, the A ending continues the cycle and B is the one we really want because that's what's gonna stop the, um, the curse from happening. Gotta say, when I first started Tunic, I didn't think it was gonna become this gigantic rabbit hole of secrets and decipherable languages and all that. Yeah, even the combat, honestly, just the normal exploration and all that would have been able to satisfy me. But it didn't stop there, it went above and beyond, although I still kind of wonder about the um, amount of people that actually stuck to the end though, because, yeah, like I said before, if you like the combat, suddenly halfway through it's all gone. If you like the puzzles, it takes a while to get to the puzzle part. So it's a bit of um, bit of a strange beast. Definitely left an impression from minute one though. The concept of the manual I really liked, and I even remember in the beginning I was so suspicious of literally everything. And yeah, this was really fun. If I had known from the beginning that this was all going to be puzzles by the end though, I might have been scared off from playing it to be honest. So maybe in a way, it's good that they didn't reveal that too early. Yeah, I really enjoyed this. It really gave some real senses of wonder, especially when you're stuck on a puzzle for a long time and then finally you get it! Or even just discovering something that was um, always right in front of you. Like the one D-pad puzzle that we had that was on the wall, we walked past that area like 50 billion times, or even the windmill. We walked past that all the time, but we never noticed. When you finally get the thing, it's like, oh my god. So yeah, this was really good for getting that endorphin hit. <laughs> yeah. Feel free to let me know what you thought of the, um, of anything in Tunic, especially the story. I'm curious to see if anyone has pieced together something a little bit more coherent after understanding the manual here. Because there's definitely a lot to take in and just a lot to unpack. With that said, this was Wellens. Thank you so much for joining me on my adventures with Tunic. Painful at times, happy at times, a lot of blood, sweat and tears, and broke my record. Definitely, for amount of random external programs that appeared in the videos. What did we use? 
Photoshop Premiere Pro, Paint, Excel, Notepad, Audacity, and the most important external program of them all, a brain. <laughs> Definitely got a nice workout here. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing this, and I will see you all in another place in another time. Bye!